In these problems, we are evaluating some integrals, and our main task is just to use some algebra to rewrite these things so that it's easier to evaluate. Here we have the integral of 9 times the square root of x minus 1 over 3 times the square root of x. And I think the first thing that I would do is rewrite this as 9 times x to the 1 half minus 1 over 3 times x to the negative 1 half. This will make it a little easier to see how this uh, reverse power rule applies when we take the integral. Now that we've got it like this, let's go ahead and apply that reverse power rule. So remember, we increase the um, exponent by 1. So this would be x to the 3 halves. We've got our constant out here. And then we multiply by the reciprocal, so times 2 thirds there. And we'll do the same thing for this next one. So it would be x to the positive 1 half. And we've got our 1 third. And we multiply it by the reciprocal, which is 2. And then, of course, we have to add our plus big C, the constant. Now we can simplify this a little bit, so 2 thirds uh, times 9 would be 6 times x to the 3 halves minus 2 thirds x to the 1 half plus c. And we could, if we wanted to, go ahead and put this back in terms of square roots since that's how it started. And we might as well uh, put it all back in the form of a single fraction. If we multiply by 3 up here and put this over 3, we could put this all over 3. So I think I'm going to do that. This would be 18, and x to the 3 halves would be an x and a square root of x. So I'm going to write that as 18, whoops, 18x times the square root of x. Now we have minus 2 times the square root of x, and that's all over 3, and then plus our constant. Let's take a look at one more. Here we have the integral of y to the 9th times the square root of y to the 7th. And I think it would be good to uh, combine these two terms before we go any further, since we don't really have a rule yet to uh, figure out what a, the integral of a product is. So I'm going to rewrite the square root of y to the 7th as y to the 7 halves. And I'm going to rewrite y to the 9th as y to the 18 halves. Same thing. So we have the integral of that. And then when we multiply uh, we add the exponents, so this comes out to be y to the 25 halves dy. Now that's a little bit easier to take the integral of. When we increase the power here by 1, that becomes 27 halves, so we have y to the 27 halves. And uh, then we have to multiply by the reciprocal, so 2 27ths y to the 27 halves. And of course, plus c, our constant. And then since we started out with um, you know, this form where y to some power and plus uh, a square root of y, let's go ahead and do that here. So we've got um, 2 27ths and let's see, uh, 26 halves would be y to the 13th and that would leave over just a square root of y and our constant. So that's a little bit of work with uh, rewriting some expressions algebraically in order to, to ease taking an integral. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.